let's not forget the Vince McMahon factor, bro. Yeah. Vince McMahon, no matter what, what you do or what you say, his name is synonymous with the WWE. Yeah. And if I'm a guy like Sly, who obviously is a multi-millionaire 10 times over, mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't going anywhere near this one. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of Writing with Through. So I'm here with my friend, my pal, my amigo. Yeah, look at him, man. He's already ready to rock in a show and tell balloon bicep, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He is Vince Russo. How are you, my man? I am doing all right, doctor. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Much better than I was last week. Uh, last when we talked last last week, I was feeling horrible, man. But I'm about ninety three percent. Ninety three percent. Yeah, Very just nice. a little, just a little sniffles. But uh, body, no fever. Body feels well, man. Feeling well, man. Very nice. And I'm glad to hear that. Bro. You know why I feel well? <clears throat> because I took a trip down to Cork and Hall. That's yeah, very nice. Yes, yes, and there. That's all it took. I went to Cork and Hall, had a little vacation, man. I'm, uh, I'm all set, man. Yes, yes. Let's talk about WrestleMania, man. It's WrestleMania season, and um, so what happened uh, is going on now is that uh, according to Wrestle Vote, so sources within WWE indicate that there is interest in collaborating with the use last to load for WrestleMania in some form. While any communication status is unclear, WrestleVotes was told there's hope for it. Whether it ultimately ends up happening or not is to be determined. Stallone, born in New York City, gained fame through the iconic Rocky films associated with Philadelphia. Additionally, Stallone is no stranger to WWE World, having inducted Hulk Hogan into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005. On paper, it makes sense. On business, it makes sense. That's a good cross branding, cross promotion. Of course, uh, you did a huge one of the one of the most colossal cross promotions with Iron Mike Tyson, and uh, this is another one here that uh, WWE is looking for with the Philadelphia reference. Uh, on paper, I guess it makes sense, Vince. What do you think? It does. It does make sense, bro. But it, it's a little. It's a little confusing to me because it's like I. I I, I don't know, bro. It's like, do, do I just wonder? Does does the WWE have a specific audience? Because, bro, when, when I look at you know what they've done with Logan Paul and what they've done with Bad Bunny, bro, Sly's l- like mid seventies. So like this, this is he he's he's fifty years older. Than the people I just mentioned, yeah. So it's 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 just a little weird. To, I I get the Philly thing, bro, but it's like, bro, are you going over the young? Are you going after the young kids with the Logan Pauls and the Bad Bunnies and stuff like that, or are you going over the you know sixty and over crap? Like, it's 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 very very confusing to me. I'll I'll be honest with you, bro. With what they've done with Bad Bunny, what they've done with Logan Paul, I get Philly. I just don't think so. I, I don't think that's a fit. Hmm. And 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 bro, I'm telling you, bro, if if their source, because we heard we heard Sammy Stallone saying how he was Rocky, and and if that's what they're looking to do, bro, I they bro. So a couple of things that I'm thinking about with it. I actually think it's good for business. I think it's. Uh, I think it works. I think. And here's the thing, man. At the end of the day, you're not pulling any any extra people that are Logan Paul's age. You know, I me mean, other than Logan Paul people or Bad Bunny's age. Like the outside world for professional wrestling don't don't they don't care about professional wrestling. You know, as far as Bad Bunny, they're there for Bad Bunny. They're there for Logan Paul. So. They're not going to bring. They're not going to pull anybody else from that crowd, um, just just offhand. But when you think of someone like a Sylvester Stallone, his name transcends 
WWE leaps and bounds. And I think if you want to bring, like, you have the hardcore fans who are going to be there regardless. I mean, it doesn't matter who's on the ticket. It doesn't matter if a character's hours in the main event. They'll complain. They'll cry. They'll moan. And guess what? They'll still watch WrestleMania. So it doesn't matter who's on the main event. But when you're thinking from a crossover appeal, and Rock made it clear in his interviews that that's his that he wants to pull more eyes into the product. And I think that you could bring some people in if you if you do market Sylvester Stallone as a part of the brand. I don't think you're going to bring too many people in. But I do think that it would be cool if – because Sammy Zane alone doesn't move the needle, right? I mean, we know that for sure. But I think if you did bring Rocky, uh, Sylvester Stallone in as someone who's <laughs> trading Sammy Zayn, he's down on his he's down on his luck. Uh, he keeps moving these matches every every week, and then all of a sudden you have like vignettes of Sylvester Stallone training. You know him; he's being the manager, and and Sammy's kind of being the sly. I think that would bring a pretty cool element to it. As far as who do you go against, I hope it's not Drew. I don't want it to be Drew. Yes, you I, know. No, I definitely, I, I, I listen, I, I got to 1000% disagree with you on this one. As a, as a Sylvester Stallone fan. From yeah, I know you're a fan. One, yeah. From day one, 1976. First of all, bro. Okay. Obviously he's not going to wrestle. Mm, okay. Right, so right. He, we're, we're not tuning in to see Sylvester Stallone wrestle. We're going to tune in to see him manage a guy that looks like Sami Zayn when we're familiar with Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang, Ivan Dra uh, Drago. Now we're going to see him manage this jabron. Let, let me tell you, bro, if you're a true Sylvester Stallone fan that you're trying to pull in, Nobody is going to be interested in seeing him train a jabron. Absolutely. Absol As a matter of fact, I'm going to go one step further. As a Sylvester Stallone fan, I think that would be absolutely embarrassing. Embarrassing. I don't and, know. If and down, that. Downright <laughs> embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. Downright embarrassing. I think if the money's right, he'll 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 be for it. You, you think that he will actually deny a payday oh, for WrestleMania? Bro, you you think Sylvester Stallone? I do. No, bro, I do. He's still got that. He's got the uh uh uh. Which I'm gonna call it? He had a reality show, right? No, uh, he's got that uh, with, uh, Tulsa Kings, bro. He's got a yeah. huge, he's got a huge hit show now. Okay, got, yeah. bro, the, the dude's loaded, bro. He don't. Need he's it. loaded. But, I mean, you know, rocks and, loaded. And bro, and let's, let's not forget. Stuff. Let's not forget the Vince McMahon factor, bro. Yeah. Vince McMahon, no matter what what you do or what you say. His name is synonymous with the WWE. Yeah. And if I'm a guy like Sly, who obviously is a multi-millionaire 10 times over, mm -hmm. I, I ain't going anywhere near this. Man. I think, the, I think the, the pitch would be from someone like a Triple H, so to speak. And I think if you think about it, they would if there's – Anybody that they would want, it, it would be Sly. Because right now, WWE is jaded with the Vince McMahon stints right now. He's a, you know, he, he's been built so long as the power trip, narcissistic, megalomaniac, right? And you have someone like Sly from his Rocky character who's the total antithesis of that. He is the ultimate baby face. Rocky is the ultimate baby face of all baby faces when it comes to that type of competitive sports nature. And so I think if if I'm Triple H, I would definitely be pitching to him. Now, I think that he's a company guy and he was like, what, what do you want? He's, he probably doesn't even know who Sami Zayn is. So, so he's – or barely. So he'll probably be more prone to say – Give me the pitch. What is it? They'll probably uh, show them some tapes of the interviews and, and polish it up really good. You know how good their production is. They'll polish it up real good and say, hey, look, this is what we're pitching to you. I, I just I, – I, I think 
I think that it would be something that would be really, really uh, interesting. Uh, uh, personally, I, I really, I really do. Bro, think can that. I tell you something? Yeah. I don't think there is anything to this whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think we heard Sami Zayn say in an interview, he's Rocky. Oh, WrestleMania is in Philadelphia. I think that I don't think there's anything to this whatsoever. I think this is the typical marks. Oh, Sami Zayn said he's Rocky and WrestleMania is in Philadelphia. Bro, no, 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 no way. This ain't happening. So, so if he does accept WrestleMania, not not happening. If say if he does, let's. I let's, end my own life. Yeah, let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Say if he does. All right. Where does he go? So, so if if realistically, based on everything that we're talking about right now, if Sly Stallone were to say yes, let's do it, where do you think the WWE will take him? Where do you think they'll take him? What do I think they'll do with him? Yep. What do you think they'll do with him? Oh my god! Realistically, based on everything we see, re 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 realistically, the only thing I would possibly do with him, since they are in Philly, the only thing I would do with him is make him like the guest ring announcer or something for the main event. <sighs> I don't know about ring announcer. Um, what about referee? Nah, I think he's, he's not 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 no not not Roman and Rock, not Roman and Rock. I think you need more star power with Seth Rollins's uh, match, anyways. Like regardless, if you do Cody Rock, Roman Rock, whatever it is, or Roman Cody Reigns Rock Roman, whatever. I think at the end of the day, you still need more star power um, <clears throat> with uh, with with Seth Rollins's world title. And so why not have <laughs> why not have Sly Stallone be a part of it? But Vince, you know how the WWE, man, you, you know how the WWE is. <clears throat> At the end of the day, what I can see them doing is somehow, and you know this is not going to be a far stretch. What I can see them doing is all these um these interviews with Sami Zayn, all of a sudden you have Sly Stallone come out and I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be necessarily in favor of it, but I would not be surprised if the world title match is uh, Seth versus Drew versus Sami and Sly comes out as Sami's uh, coach. I don't think there is anything to this outside of that one wrestling mark out there putting. I, I honestly don't, bro. I, I listen. I followed this guy's career literally for 50 years. I do not see him doing this at this point of his career. Russell votes has been pretty legit when it comes to uh, reporting things. And I think that's, um, I mean, perhaps they, you know, they, they've got something. I mean, it's cross promotion too, man. I mean, like, if anything, if I'm the WWE, I'm, I'm going to ask him. You know, I mean, he might say no, but I mean, at least I think from a business standpoint, it's 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 smart. It's smart to ask him to see if he wants to have that affiliation. If he does says yeah, if he does say yes, I don't see any spot to put him other than with Sami Zayn. Maybe does he guest referee the uh, the the World Heavyweight Championship match? Do you think I, that? that I, just, I just don't think physically. Even a ref, even as a ref, really, you don't no, think physically? Like, 70, he's like seventy-five, bro. I mean, hey, you got uh, you know, who uh, competed in a match, which was it was bad, but yeah. I mean, hey, Chuck Norris is still in good shape, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. 